Hey guys, here's a little project I worked on for about 20 minutes today. It's four treadmill motors wired in series. But they're all run off of this one big motor here. I just got this motor at the dump two days ago out of a treadmill. It's the only one I've seen that has the shaft coming out the back. So I got a little treadmill belt joining three other motors to this one big motor. These, most of these motors are high RPM motors. They weren't much good for anything. I think one of them is like a 6,000 RPM. And one bigger one's actually 3,300 RPMs, which is not bad. Not sure what the other one is. But I have them wired in series here. You see my gauge. I think I get 8 volts out of 60 RPMs this way. This is just turning it by hand. Barely turning it. You see my hand here? 8 volts. I can get up to 12 volts very easily here. has some potential. I'm sure my my amperage won't be that high because of the way they're running series but it's a good low RPM setup. I think I can make a good micro hydro out of it. Like I said it's about 8 volts. Maybe a little more than 8 volts for 60 RPMs. So 120 RPMs will be doing pretty good. About 16 volts. Alright guys, I got a little bicycle here that I had upside down. I had the tire rubbing up against here earlier. It was making some good uh, good volts, but it's hard to get it set up right. Let's see, it's kind of a tricky thing to get going here. gauge over here. It's a little tough to do this with one hand here. Let's see. I'll try again. If I don't get it, I don't get it. You guys know what it is. You guys know what a voltmeter looks like. Anyhow. This is just the upside down bicycle with the wheel turning on the counterbalance. That's it. Like I said, I may turn this little unit into a micro hydro setup. Just to see how it works. But it was one way to use up all my treadmill motors. Because each one alone doesn't do much. You have to turn it so fast. Alright guys, thanks for watching.